Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is uh, 44 Politics here again with, with another video. Before I get started, please feel free to like and subscribe. Now on to the video. Okay, well, the Republicans do not seem to be doing well this cycle. For probably the first time in history, a el an elephant is getting beat up by a donkey. You don't see that a lot in nature, but you do in politics. Or, not really. It's pretty much, it's pretty mutual, I have to say. This today, this video today, will be the most realistic prediction, the most realistic way the Republicans could take the Senate. Currently, they are on track to lose the House, the Presidency, and of course the Senate. But, they still have a chance for the Presidency and the Senate. I will be doing a video on the Presidency later. But today, it's on the Senate. So, uh, I'll fill out the Republican safe states. So, Republicans, as you probably can see, do actually have a lot of safe states compared to the Democrats having very few. This will probably help them in the long run. Uh, next, I will do the likely states, and that would be te include Texas, Kentucky, um, Mississippi, Alabama. That's pretty much it. Um, probably forgetting one that I'll grab later. Montana will be lean and along with Kansas, South Carolina, and South Carolina, as well as Georgia and Alaska. Okay. Now the Republicans have 48 seats, which they would only need three seats to gain a majority and keep uh, Mitch McConnell as the majority leader. How could they do this, and which states would be the most likely to flip? So flip, I mean, as in um, Democrats are currently leading there, and that me, and then it'll flip the Republicans. First would be Iowa. Why Iowa? Well, I didn't click that. There we go. Uh, it's not working. I'm sorry, everyone. This is not working for some reason. Jeez, what's wrong with this? Okay. Uh, something went wrong, guys. I'm sorry about that. I don't understand what's wrong with this. Okay, I need to redo something real. So yeah, Iowa, until recently, um, Tree, uh, Joni Ernst was actually leading, uh, in the 538, um, forecast. But Therese Greenfield has taken the lead in both the polling averages and real, uh, real clear politics, which I cannot bring up right now because I'm doing this, but I will in a second, and as well as, of course, 538. So, obviously, that does mean that she's losing more, and Iowa doesn't be going Democratic as Joe Biden has been leading late recently, and mo Democrats have been leading from Iowa in the Iowa, Iowa representatives, um, what's the word, uh, House representatives races. So yeah, it does, but I think it's still likely to flip. Um, Donald Trump, I do think, will win it in the general election. So, you know, it's it's definitely definitely possible for the Republicans to win it. Okay, 538 decided to glitch on me. don't know why it said California. That's kind of weird. Okay, and heading over to Iowa. Yeah, uh, Tree Greenfield is ahead, so that means... That uh, it's pretty unlikely for Joni Ernst to win, but it's only by 4.8%, and I think she could, in the end, pull out a victory. So first state to flip. Second is Maine, where Sarah Gideon is pulling a bull in the head by a pretty big margin, but Suzanne Collins is still an incumbent. She's still a moderate, bipartisan, being endorsed by a lot more of the uh, Republican governors in Democratic states, like Larry Hogan and Charlie Baker. Certainly possible for a victory. She could pull out an upset in the end. Um, third is North Carolina, where um, Cal Cunningham has recently uh, been in the, um, been in term. Of, I don't know. He the sexting scandal happened, and as I mentioned before, and that might sink his campaign. He might not do nearly as well as he's doing as the polls before predicted. So that'd be third flip. If they won these states, they would uh, Republicans would get a majority. But what would be the second most likely states flip? Georgia special election. That is a very interesting state, and I will show you why. Don't know why it's in California. <laughs> As you can see here, um, Ralph Warnock is currently winning by a likely margin. I don't know if this is going to really happen, because if you combine the Democratic votes, he's only getting like over 30%. If you combine the Republican votes, they're getting significantly more. But hey, I think it's still possible for him to win, and he has been leading the Republicans in head-to-head -head matchups recently. Okay, yeah, um, third, let's see, second likely to flip, Arizona, um, incumbent Martha Miss Sally, unlikely for her to win, but it's in the realm of possibility, along with Colorado, um, most of these states are where there are Republican incumbents, which might give them an advantage. Now, third, okay, 
I'm going to put Michigan first because John James is doing better and Gary Peters is doing worse. But it's still kind of unlikely to flip with Biden doing so well. But currently, Gary Peters is underperforming against uh, Biden. So that's, that's very strange. I might be wrong. I'm going to look at the uh, current averages. Michigan, James with Peters. It does appear that Gary Peters is ahead by actually a lean margin. He isn't actually over um, 51%, so that's kind of weird. Third would probably be Minnesota, where um, I've checked before. And it does appear that Tina Smith isn't doing as well as she could be and is, not, is also not over 50%. Going over to New Mexico, where I will see... I have not checked. There aren't many New Mexico polls from New Mexico, I believe. But it does show uh, 9.5 for Ben Ray Lujan. So I'll put that as probably third likely to flip um, because it's still, it's still a likely margin. Yeah, and the rest of these states, Oregon, Illinois, Virginia, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, all these other states, they aren't very competitive. New, New Hampshire could be, but the Republicans did not field a good candidate. And Gina Jaheen is winning. And it's not like she's going to lose anytime soon. So yeah. The most likely scenario of uh, for Republican victory, it probably look like this. Um, I'll put these in the leaning margin, even tilt, and maybe even Georgia um, in the end after uh, December, I believe, where um, after a runoff, where that would probably in have like I don't know Doug Collins or Kelly Loaf against Ralph Warnock and consolidating the Republican vote. The problem is that they are uh, a very tough primary fight, which might, which happened in Kansas, which maybe why it's so close because Roger Marshall ran all of his money, ran out of all his money, running against Chris Kobach. So that means that they could have such a tough primary fight. A lot of voters would not vote for the other candidate. Okay, so yeah, it probably looks like this: fifty-two and Democrats would take Arizona, uh, make them likely Colorado, Minnesota. Michigan, and yeah. All right, and, uh, well, it was New Mexico. I don't think Arizona will be, um, likely, but that's what the polls say. The polls aren't always correct. I think it will be lean, but I was basing these off polls for this video. Okay, so, um, end of the video, time for some channel updates. Sorry I didn't post yesterday. I'm super busy. I got a lot of stuff outside of YouTube to deal with, but, you know, um, I'll still be here. And I will be making videos. I'm, I'll be trying to keep up my daily schedule and analyzing polls more and doing, and you know, uh, election nights on the weekends. I do have an election night already planned, and I'll post it later today. It's pretty exciting. I think you guys will love it. I'm trying to figure out how to put the CNN election night music over it. Sorry about that. It's kind of funny, but my editing software is not letting me do that for some reason. So I got to figure that out. Be posted later. Um, tomorrow will probably probably be the um presidential version of this and yeah uh, i guess that would be it overall thank you all for watching and i will see you next time